How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm the Booster Pack Guy and today as you guys saw on the thumbnail I got something special for you guys. So I went to Walmart to go pick up a few things and I decided to go look at the card section you know like I wasn't actually planning on buying anything I just wanted to check out what they had and to my surprise I saw that they had a bunch of these on sale and I was like wow are you serious so I checked it out and yeah guys they had nine of these blisters on sale they're all right here all right nine and not only that but they had this on sale as well I was very genuinely surprised I was like wow these are expensive packs how could they be on sale and I thought they were just pulling my leg, so I went over to one of the scanners to check out the price, and yes, they were. So each one of these blisters, guys, is, I bought it for about $3, so $2.98, which is insane considering the fact that if you go to TCG Player or eBay or anywhere, Troll and Toad, like, you'll find that each pack is about $5 alone for one pack, for one single pack of first edition, you know, Legendary Duelist. So, when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I wasn't planning on buying anything, but $3 for a blister pack of two? All right, let's do it. <laughs> so I bought all of the ones that they had on for sale. And they also had this on for sale, like I said as well. These are money, guys. Savage Strike, if you go on to eBay, Troll and Toe, TCG Player, anywhere, you'll find that one special edition of this is about $20. All right? That's just the price of the product. That's not including the shipping and all that, if it comes with shipping, you know? So I was like, wow, I'll take this while I'm there too. So yeah, I was genuinely surprised that these, you know, these expensive money packs were on sale and I'm glad that I decided to check it out, you know? <laughs> That's pretty cool that I got these all pretty cheaply. And then also, I know we just did a massive Toon Chaos opening, but I got some more Toon Chaos blisters as well just because, you know, they were there too and they were the last four that were there. So I was like, you know what, I might as well take it. We might get lucky and pull a collector's ref. But anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and are excited to see me open this up. I know I'm excited. This is the first time in the channel that I've been, you know, that I'm gonna open a Savage Strike booster pack. I've already opened um, Sisters of the Rose booster pack, so that's not the first time I've opened on the channel. But as far as Savage Strike goes, uh, this will be the first time. So I'm very excited to open these things up, see what we get. If you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, guys. That helps me out tons. And without much more talking, let's get right into it. I'm going to open all these blisters, guys, first and take out the packs inside. And then we'll be right back. I'm going to go on a quick time lapse. All right, boys, and we're back. So I took out all the packs out of their blisters. So as you can see, the Toon Chaos and the Legendary Duel Sisters of the Rose packs are out of their blisters. The only one that I did keep sealed for now is a Savage Strike box here. We'll go through that last because I'm, you know, I'm excited to see what we get on that one. So as you, as I told you guys before, we did have nine of these blisters for the Sisters of the Rose. So if we would have had three more blisters, we would have had a full box worth of of Sisters of the Rose, which would have been amazing, but we don't, so we only have 18, which is okay. You know, it's not bad. And then I didn't notice that our tune packs, we had two of each of the Chaos and the Tunes, so that's awesome. But without much more talking, guys, let's get straight on into it and see what we get here. So I'm gonna start off with the Tune Chaos, guys, just because I feel like, you know, we can get something good out of it. Hopefully we got, you know, a chance to pull a collector's rare, so let's get to it. First pack, let's see what we can get. Nah, I already do it like this, I might as well. So Cyframe Driver, Keeper of Dragon Magic, Crossover, and for Hollow we have a Valkyrie Sigrun. All right, not bad, we'll take it. All right, next pack, actually, you know what? Let's do a Creator Pack. Can we get a good a good card out of these four packs? Can we get an Ultra or can we get a Collector's Rare is the question. Or a Cypher from Gear Gamma, that'd be cool. Mass Hero Blast, Chaos Zone, Code Generator, Mass Hero Vapor, and a Magician of Hope. All right, not, I'm not expecting too much, guys. Um, I would, you know, 
wouldn't mind if we got another chaos space. That'd be pretty cool if we could get a chaos space. If we just get all supers in this opening, I would, you know, that's the super I would want to get. And for some rares, I would also love to get some gammas because, you know, gammas are pretty cool to have for trade or for sale. And a mass hero acid for our, our third super there. And our last two in chaos here. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, guys, I'm not too, you know, worried if we get like, if we don't get an ultra or a collector sure because it's only four packs. So yeah, I would like to get a gamma though. If we can get that, that'd be nice. Starlight Road and we have a Sublimation Knight. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at those borders. That, that bottom border is thick, thick with this double C. <laughs> But okay, I'm glad that we didn't get a ultra with in that pack because then those borders would have been bad. All right, now we're gonna go ahead with the legendary duel sisters of the rose, guys. The only thing I'm looking in here for is literally all the harpy support. <laughs> That's basically it. On top of the fact that you know we also want to get some of those high value ultras in the set. So we got Ruffinian rail car, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Twilight Rose. Knight, Sever Angel Edithin, and we have a Incarnated Machine Angel for our rare. Cool. Alright. Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, Sever Angel Benton, Luna Light Cat Dancer. Nice, we did get an Ultra. Barrage Blast. Very cool. We're gonna sleeve that guy up. And Luna Light Yellow Martin. All right, that's awesome. But well, we did get an Ultra, guys. That's sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Next pack. Ritual Sanctuary. Witch of the Black Rose. Cyber Angel Benton again. Ooh, Garden Rose Maiden. Another Ultra. And we got Luna Light Yellow Martin again. That is sweet. I don't know what she's worth. I actually don't know what these ultras are worth, <laughs> to be quite honest with you guys. So maybe at the end I'll do a recap and actually display some prices for you guys because I actually don't know the prices for these cards. But I feel like that Garden Rose is probably expensive. I'm not too sure though. Don't quote me. But it's cool that we got that. Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, Sever Angel Ben 10, Luna Light Cat Dancer, Merciful Machine Angel for our super. That's pretty cool. We got a super and a Luna Light Emerald Bird for our rare. Wow. Wait, are you guaranteed a hollow in every pack on these? Because um, we've gotten, uh, I think, all the ones we've opened. No, 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 no. It's not guaranteed a hollow in every pack. Because right. the first one we opened, I believe. We didn't get a, a hollow. I could be wrong. But anyways, Night Express Knight, Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, Sever Angel Ben 10, Luna Light Cat Dancer, and Super Drenna Rail Cannon Gustav Max. Okay, so yeah, so you're not guaranteed a, a hollow in every pack. That's cool. These are the packs that I like. <laughs> All right, next pack. Mark of the Road. Harpy Queen, nice. I recently figured out that there's a lost art for her, so you know I'm gonna go ahead and get my three copies of her off of TCG Player because I can't find that lost art anywhere else. And we got Dark Rose Fairy for our rare. Next pack. Mark of the Rose, Machine Angel Ritual, Elegant Egotist. Snow Plow Hustle Russell and Harpy Lady Elegance. Okay, so this is one of the Harpy cards that I wanted to get, just to be quite honest. I'm not sure if, um, you know, the Harpy Lady Sisters card is like this or not, but I don't feel like it's, I feel like this one is uncensored and I feel like the Harpy Lady Sisters are censored, but I'm not too sure. Don't quote me, <laughs> but this is cool. Twilight Rose Knight, Ruffian Railcar, Cyber Angel Ben 10, 
Luna Light Perfume, and Red Rose Dragon. Very cool. This is mint, so I will be replacing the one that I have in my dragon collection with that one. Because I do have a red dragon or red rose dragon from my dragon collection, but it's not mint. So it's cool that I have a mint version now. Sever Petite Angel, special schedule. Sever Angel Dakini. Dakini. Luna Light Blue Cat. And another Gustav Max. So we got a Knight Express Knight, Elegant Egotist, Panther Dancer, nice, Black Rose Dragon. Always cool to have a reprint of this card. And we have Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Huh, all right, cool. Has the Black Rose Dragon there in the back. Pretty cool. Luna Knight Panther Dancer, Seber Petite Angel, Special Schedule. Nice, we got another super. Luna Light Saber Dancer. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And a Dark Rose Fairy for a rare. All right. Next pack. I believe we're like halfway in. I'm not too sure though. Luna Light Blue Cat, Black Garden. Oh, okay, so there's Harpy Lady's sisters. Oh, they aren't censored. They're not wearing the spandex thing. All right, cool. Good to know. Luna Light Kaleido Chick. And Luna Light Yellow Martin for our rare. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're past halfway point. We got five packs left after this one. I probably should have just kept these sealed and then sold them later down the road. Pretty sure it would have been worth way more money. <laughs> oh well. It's always fun to open these cards up, so these packs. So all for the content, guys. This is all for you. Alright, next pack. Luna like Kaleido Chick. Harpy Queen again. Very cool. Hopefully we get a place it, that'd be nice. Luna like Blue Cat. Whoa, we got a Harpy Perfumer, guys. Ultra rare. I know this is actually one of the more valuable cards in the set. And we got a Cyber Ink, Cyber Ink Angel. But I know this is one of the more valuable cards in the set. I don't know how much value it will hold, guys. And I'm looking at it right now. Wow, oh, well, I was going to say almost perfect borders. But yeah, but this card is actually worth quite a bit, guys. That's awesome. Awesome to see. Heck yes. All right, next pack. I believe Ultra is the highest rarity you can get out of these packs. And then we got three packs left after this one. Let's see what else we can get. Nice, we got another Super Luna Light Serenade Dance. And another Harpy Lady Elegance. That is so cool. Next pack. So with the opening of this pack, guys, we've opened eight blisters. I still can't believe these packs were on sale, guys. Like, Walmart sometimes, I guess, doesn't know what they have in, in stock and just wants to get rid of product. Which is cool, you know, because it gives me the opportunity to go pick these up for cheap and make videos. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, next pack. Alright, I'm having a blast opening these. Sever Angel Dakini, Black Garden. Ritual Sanctuary, Cyber Petite Angel, Luna Light Yellow Martin. All right, and then our last pack of Legendary Duelist Sisters of the Rose. Let's see what we can get. Harpy Queen. All righty, so we did get a playset. That's awesome. Harpy's Hunting Ground, Cyber Angel Ben 10, and nice, another Ultra Harpy's Feather Rest. That is so cool. And then we got a Magnificent Machine Angel. Nice. Oh, this would have been cool if it was an uncensored card. <laughs> that would have been pretty sweet. But this is insane. We actually got, what was it, three, four Ultras out of this? That's crazy. All first edition, though. That's awesome. I think just looking at these cards makes me want to, you know, actually go and build a Harpy. 
Harpy deck. Maybe I might do one and uh, put it on the channel for you guys. Who knows? I'm still working on my tune deck too, so yeah. All right, guys. So last packs for this opening will be this Savage Strike Special Edition. Let's see what we get. First time opening Savage Strike on the channel, guys. I want to open a booster box, but they're very expensive. Considering the fact that all the good cards in this set got reprinted recently, it's still pretty pricey, so I think I might wait a little bit. All right. So we got our three packs here. And then our promos are uh, Yuki Mos Mosumi, the Ice Makayashi, and White Rose Dragon. I have this also in my Dragon Binder, but is not mint like this one is. So I will be sleeving this up and replacing it with the dragon I have in my binder. My dragon collection. That'd be amazing. All right, guys. So we got three packs here. Let's see what we can get. Can we get that Boro Load? Or a pot of extravagance? I believe it's. I believe you know it's in this set. So first pack. Let's see what we get. Shiranui Sword Master. Time Thief Bezel Ship. Orchestrated Release. Time Thief Flyback. And nice, we got a Guard Dragon, Agara Pain. Agara Pain. All right, cool, for our super. I will be sleeping this guy up for later. And then TG Screw Serpent for our rare. Time Thief Hack, Cybers Converter, and Salomon Great Wolvie. Awesome. Next pack. Shinobi Necro, Guard Dragon Core Awakening, Shiranui Sword Saga, and Elemental Hero Cosmo Neos for our super. <laughs> That's actually pretty dope, guys. Very, very dope. And then we got Modolchi Pitting Sword. All right, I don't know if she's worth anything. Cause I know Modolchi's got a little bit of hype, but I'm not sure if she's worth anything. Be pretty cool to find out. Then we got a Squirt Squid. <laughs> what? That is, that is kind of funny, but it's kind of like a cartoonish card. I like it. <laughs> Time Thief Hack again, Cybers Converter again, and Salomon Great Wolvie. All right, guys, last pack for this opening. Can we get that Boro Load or a Pot of Extravagance? Let's find out. We got Child's Play, Catch Eve Level 2, Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai, Prank Kids Roxies, and a Sky Striker Ace Kaina, or Kaina, this is for our super. All right. Hyper Psychic Riser for our rare, Orcus Nightmare, Sub Terror Guru, and we have a Clock Lizard. Huh. I mean, I guess it could be a cyber. It looks more like a dino to me or a reptile. All right. All right, guys. So that was our opening for this, you know, video. If you, I'm going to look up some prices for these cards, guys. So give me one quick second and we'll be right back and we'll see what we got. All right, guys. So I'm back. I'm done looking at the prices for these cards. And I've determined that this was an actually an excellent opening, guys. This was excellent. <laughs> All right. So here are the cards that we pulled that were a higher rarity than the rest. And at the time of this recording, these are the prices for these cards. So we got one Barrage Blast, which is sitting around a dollar, which, okay, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. And then we got one White Rose Dragon, which is sitting around two dollars, which is awesome. Harpy's Feather Rest, if I can get the camera to focus, is sitting around four dollars. Garden Rose Maiden, guys, is sitting around twenty-one dollars. To be quite honest with you guys, I was expecting this card to be maybe, six, you know, $14, $16 tops, but 21 guys, that is insane. And I really like the artwork on this card, guys. Like, look at the dress, it looks so cool. It's just like a rose, a white rose, which is awesome. And then Harpy Perfumer, I knew she was gonna be worth a little bit. So she's $22. 
which is insane guys just on the packs alone that i got from legendary Duel sisters of the rose guys i spent like about 27 dollars on those four ultras right there i'm at 48 dollars so i already pretty much almost doubled my money which is pretty good and then the white rose brings us up to 50 dollars so if i were to get i uh, wish i still had the receipt I, I tossed it already but if i had the receipt guys you'll see that i spent around 50 dollars for all these packs the savage strike the sisters of the rose and the four tomb chaos so just with these five cards i made my money back which is awesome but anyways i really enjoyed this opening and i'm happy that i got these packs you know for you guys so you guys can check it out so put it on the channel hope you guys enjoyed this opening and as always i'll catch you guys all on the next one peace